Okay, hands up. Who knows the first restaurant Tobizaru went to after the last tournament? Evidently, it was this one. Isaribi, in Tokyo's Kameari area, about 12 kilometers from his stable. Look, he's even written the date for us. He's been a customer here for at least three years now, and has doubtless poured a fair few of his troubles into the master's ear. But, on his most recent visit, I hear he was all smiles. It's clear he's upped his weight training dramatically. Just look at how much bulkier he's become in the past two years. He now easily has the muscle to fight far bigger men from the front and drive them backwards, as Shimano Umi found to his cost on day one. A win more than deserving of this salmon row. On day two, Tobizaru was brave enough to trade thrusts and pulls with Shaw Hozan. That is indeed how to pull, but what agile legs you need to do it. Better go easy on the egg roll. At that stage, we were simply waiting for the buzz of a top division debut to wear off and his wins to tail off in tandem. And yet, on day three, he won again against Saitama Sakai Jr. Koto Shoho. That was quite some scalp, worthy of a high grade tuna celebration. His first defeat did not come until day five against fellow gym freak Koto Eko. Koto Eko simply wants to avoid being slapped forward and builds the entire bout around this strategy. Several solid rights shove Tobizaru's throat away, before he finally gets a treasured inside right, leading to the winning charge. It's usually harder for Tobizaru against foes of similar size and speed. That's why he opted not to dance with Horshoryu on day six. Nice job, enjoy your crab with crab eggs. A very positive middle stretch then ensued in which he won his first matches against Chiyo Taidu and Onosho, and beat Meisei for the first time. He was thus an astonishing 9 and 2 heading into day 12, and facing a very tense Wakataka Kage in an unlikely battle of the leaders. His legs were again cat-like as he survived the immediate push-down ploy, then schooled his foe in how to pull. For that, have a beer and some matsutake mushroom broth. A dodge and parry of Takanosho on day 13 put him level with Shodai at the top and two wins away from achieving the first top division debut title in 106 years. That certainly would have called for grilled matsutake and thinly sliced Japanese beef. But although he attacked fearlessly in both final bouts, the quality of opponent was far too strong. Fellow Sakai grad Takakesho's vision and timing were top-notch, while Shodai's defense could well have been plucked from Plato's forms. Both his and Shodai's stable procured a celebratory sea bream just in case. Takakesho's stable also, in fact. But only Shodai's was held up for the cameras. 
Nevertheless, Tobizaru excited the socially distanced crowds more than anybody and fully deserved his Fighting Spirit Prize. We can well feel the optimism surrounding him. His new sponsored banner has already been ordered by Rakugo storyteller Sanyute Enjaku. And Isaribi's master assures us that in his shop at least, Tobizaru did not go short of Seabream. <laughs>